Hi everyone. In this short uh, video, we are going to look at the zero standing approach for AWS IAM Identity Center and how does the user experiences in API. In terms of the agenda, so first we are going to look at the standing access approach, how does the end user experience, then we will be looking into the zero standing privileges approach. So let's get started. For standing access, so what I'm using, I'm using a third party IDP for the integration with the AWS IAM Identity Center. So here in my case, I'm using IDP is Antra ID or formerly known as Azure AD. So let me go into my Microsoft Apps dashboard. So I have login to my uh, Microsoft Apps. So here you see I have login as one of the user called AWS at the rate of fcsolutionsdemo.com. To access AWS IAM Identity Center, what I have to do, I have to simply click on this tile. I will get redirected to AWS IAM Identity Center. So that's how this entire access is going to be granted. So here you see, I have standing access across like five different accounts. And if you open any of the account, you can see I have a wide range of access to the permission set. The biggest drawback of leveraging upon standing access is if somebody steal my credentials, what's going to happen? They can do a huge amount of damage to my uh, cloud environment. The second thing is, so what about if somebody steals a session cookie? So stealing a session cookie means attacker will have an access to all these different AWS accounts with all these different permission sets. So this is how the standing access user experience is gonna look like. So now for the second case, so once we introduce a zero standing privileges approach, so let's see how does the end user experience is gonna look like. Again, in this particular demonstration also, we will be looking at uh, Microsoft Azure AD or Antra ID as our IDP. So now, so what I have done, so we are, I'm gonna go to a different browser. So here also, so I have logged into Microsoft apps. So here you will notice I'm using a different user altogether. So this user, for this particular user, we are leveraging upon the zero standing privileges approach, AWS2. So here also I'm gonna click on this AWS ARM Identity Center tile. Again, it is asking me to re-authenticate. So here you will see I have redirected to AWS ARM Identity Center. Here you see by default, this particular user has zero permissions. Even if attacker steal uh, the user's credential, even if attacker steal the session cookie, they will not be able to do much damage. But the point comes how as a user, I can gain the privileges to do my job. So I'm going to the Cybrac identity portal. On the identity portal, I'm going to log in using my Active Directory credentials. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna sign in again, uh, you should be protecting the cyber console using MFA. And here you see one of the tile called AWS IAM Identity Center. I'm gonna click on this particular tile. So behind the scenes, cyber secure web session uh, layer is gonna be enabled. So it will help us to do the step recording and session protection. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm okay with the session being monitored. Click on continue button. So once I click on continue button, it takes a couple of seconds for users to get redirected to a, another web page. So that web page is primarily meant to, uh, to get all the authorized permissions. So here I'm uh, being redirected to the AWS permission set for AWS Identity Center. So you can see as a user, I'm authorized to elevate my permissions on the fly. So this one, we call it a daily access. So if somebody needs an access for, for any of the permissions, so which is not uh, made available, so they can go through a request access workflow. 
for this particular demonstration, we will say, hey, as a user, I need an access to this particular account, but I, I, I want to do my job just as a billing, uh, billing uh, permission set only. So I'm going to click on a connect button. So behind the scenes, what CyberArk Secure Cloud Access is going to do, it is going to elevate the user permission. It takes like a couple of seconds to elevate the user permission. So let's wait for a few seconds. So here you see, so I've been redirected to my AWS IAM Identity Center tile again. So I have been added uh, to this particular test account for this uh, billing permission set only. So this is how does the zero standing privileges user experience is gonna look like, and it can really help you to reduce the risk tremendously. So thanks a lot everyone for watching this short video.